What is up, y'all? It is currently 1.50 p.m. in the afternoon. Not a.m. because I'd be very weird if I was doing this at almost 2 a.m. Anyways, so um, I'm getting ready for the gym. I watched a little bit of YouTube, did a little bit of homework. I still have a shit ton of homework to do left, but we're going to the gym. Um, I'm, I'm making some pre-workout in a minute. Um, I am, or was, sipping on a Monster because I was craving one really bad after I had coffee, so I, more caffeine, you know? Um, so, that's really it. Um, all I had was, this is like my vitamin thing, but I had some COQ10 and acetyl carotene, just like I normally do. Every time, so I'm gonna write down my workout on my piece of old pad of paper, or whatever. Go focus, good. And see, so yeah, I'm gonna write down this workout, and then I'll probably see you guys at the gym, or I'll some I'll figure something out. So yeah. Quick side note, also guys on the monsters. Now I I love these freaking things because well I'm mainly taking for three different reasons, and I tr I definitely cut myself off a lot because I used to drink them way too much. Um, I do think an excessive amount of them is bad for your health. Um, but I do drink them, one, if I need an extra boost of energy, so obviously for caffeine-wise. Two, um, I would definitely use it um, for blunting appetite, so caffeine like appetite suppressant, just like black coffee, so like it blunts your appetite. Same thing with Monsters, I use it for like, you know, blunting my appetite. And three, because of the flavor, so just like something sweet, you know, it's basically like, you know, pushing your fast a little bit more with zero calories. They do contain carbs, so very low, obviously two grams of carbs per serving, so four, four grams total because there's two servings, there's only, uh, there's two servings in a can, so there is, you know, four carbs. Technically, it's somewhat breaking your fast. Now, I think it's, it's very minimal, so once in a while it's not going to hurt you. Um, but again, technically, for being technical here, it does break your fast. Very small amount, but it does break your fast. Uh, there's also been, I think, studies shown that if you have, like, um, some kind of sugar, like a sugary flavor, sub, sub, whatever, kind of, like, gum or something, even though it's zero calorie, it still technically, like, breaks your fast. Um, I haven't really read too much about it, but something of that ratio. Anyways, so, I just wanted to take that side note, just talk about Monster real quick because I was very obsessed with Monster for a good amount of time and I still am but I cut myself off a lot so I do have them in the fridge only for sometimes if I want to have them I just got a four pack to have here so I'll have them once in a while like I said I was just craving one and I'm talking really fast but yeah then I will yeah Okay guys, welcome to the workout. I thought for this one I would do a voiceover, like a commentary to explain these splits I've done previously, what I like, what I don't like, and what I'm currently doing now. So my old split, I used to do about five, sometimes six days a week, and how that would look like, I would do an upper, upper, lower, upper, upper day. It's almost kind of like a split where you do upper, lower, upper, lower, but I kind of put my own twist on it. So for upper, for Monday, I would do back and buys. Then for Tuesday, I would do upper again, which would be shoulders and tries. And then for Wednesday, I would do a lower, which is legs. And then I'd do like glutes and hamstrings and quads all just for leg day. And then for Thursday, I would do upper again, back and buys. And then upper on Friday, I would do shoulders and chest. So I was hitting shoulders, back and buys twice a week because those are the muscle groups I thought I needed to work on. So that's why I hit them twice a week versus once a week. Um, I like that split a lot. I, do, I did it probably for about a year, a little over a year. Um, and I feel like I got kind of too used to it and like too, you know, in the zone. So I thought I needed to change things up, um, you know, shock my body, shock the muscles, get something else different going on. So currently now what I do is much different. I do a three-day split and I'm training much more intense, much more heavier weight. Uh, my body needs a lot more rest and a lot more recovery time to recover from those work from the workouts I do now. So it's it's a lot different what I'm used to, but I do like it. It's something for a change. Uh, I feel like my body is responding to it pretty well, actually. So that's what I'm doing pretty much currently. Uh, the pros and cons of the five-day split slash six-day split, which I did before, 
the pros, I feel like I could train more and I did enjoy training, so I did like that. Uh, the cons of it, though, I felt like I wasn't getting enough recovery, enough during, my, like, during the breaks between my muscle groups. Um, I split it up pretty well to get to try to get the most benefit and rest for it, but I thought it still I could have got even more rest and I could have gotten better on my lifts and progressed further if I gave myself a little bit more rest to recover. But overall, I did like it. But like I said, I got too used to it and I needed something new and fresh. So again, I did uh, buy a plan um, online. So I thought I needed someone else to make a program for me to see so they can so I can pretty much test my limits. So, when so, so instead of me making my own workout, um, and I do like it. I do like it a lot. I thought after a while, after because I've always made my own workouts. I've always made my own plans. But I feel like it, it doesn't hurt to have someone else help you out and give you a new plan to test your limits. So again, that's what I've been doing currently. I really like it. Uh, pretty much I only hit legs again once a week, which is Wednesday. And then Monday, it's an upper day. And then Friday, it's also an upper day. But depending on which week I'm on. So I'm doing three different weeks, which is uh, by eight week, eight week periods. And I'm doing chest focus, shoulder focus, and then it could be back focus for one. So I'm hitting whatever focus I'm doing, I'm hitting that muscle group two times a week. And this is going to be the end, of the end of the commentary, so I hope you guys enjoyed, but enjoy the rest of the video. Wow, and we're back. Okay, so the gym went well. Um, I'm almost positive I filmed everything for you guys. I'm sorry if there was like a little like bad angles at a few things. I kind of just threw my camera down and just filmed it. Hope for the best. Uh, so, it's about almost four, basically four o'clock, five minutes before. So I'm gonna shower, then we're gonna get a post-workout meal in. Again, if you're wondering, I am fasted. I have not eaten anything. The only thing I've had is water, black coffee, and that orange monster. Again, technically the orange monster broke my fast a teeny bit, but between like the caffeine and like how many carbs, like it's not, it's not, not a big deal. Anyways, I'm just saying like that. I'm basically fasted. I have not had any, had not had any food yet. So we're gonna break my fast after I shower and head to the dining hall. I will show you what I'm eating for my first meal of the day. So I'm gonna clean myself up. Wow. Showered, clean. Yeah, don't mind the hair because it's drying and it's wet. Next step, I'm gonna get ready to leave in a minute to go grab some food because again, I'm so hungry right now and I haven't eaten. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna head and get some food, and I guess I'll see you then. Alright guys, so we got food. Now, this is what I have, sorry about the pizza or whatever, I have about, uh, probably I would say five, six ounces of chicken, just on the st uh, stove grilled. They just grilled it for me over there, and then I put about a cup of white rice in there, because that's all we have for rice, and I put about two servings of barbecue sauce on top so the serving size of barbecue sauce is about two tablespoons so i put about probably four tablespoons um and yeah this is going to be meal one so i'm estimating about like 40 to 50 grams of protein and there's probably about 45 to 50 carbs from the rice so and then totally it's probably about 500 to 600 calories for this meal so yeah and i'll see you guys when i'm finished and we finished and now for dessert, we have some soft, for, soft serve vanilla and topped with a little bit of Oreos, like three or four scoops. So now I'm gonna eat this, and this is probably roughly 200, 300, maybe 350 for calorie wise. Yo, okay, so I've been back for about about two and a half, two hours, about yeah, because it's like seven now. So. Uh, the only thing I've eaten is what you saw. I had that chicken and rice and with barbecue sauce, and then I had the um, vanilla soft serve ice cream with a little bit of crushed Oreos. Um, and then, oh, I did have like a, like a small sugar, sugar cookie on my way out as well. So that's all I've had. Um, I'm gonna have my second meal in like an hour or so, because it's only seven now, so I'm gonna have my second meal around eight. Obviously, that's math, there you go. So, I should probably keep, I should probably, I probably should stop saying so and yeah so much, but it's a habit. But, 
I will show you guys when I get that meal, even though you've already seen it, but I will show you when I get it, so I will see you then. Alright guys, so the best they could do was give me just like a freaking hamburger roll, because they ran out of like, sub rolls, so I was like, sick, alright. But we just got one sandwich, just turkey, plain turkey, that's all I like on my sandwiches, so... Yeah, and the second thing I got was just... These chips, they didn't have regular Lay's, like, well, yeah, they didn't have regular or even, like, 40% less fat, just, like, plain. So, I got these instead, um, macros, not too bad, I guess, 180 calories, 7 fat, 27 carb, 3 fat. So, yeah, I'm just gonna eat this, and I don't know what else, but, yeah, if I do, I will see you then. Different transition, but whatever. So the last thing I'm gonna eat is gonna be this. So it's gonna be uh, half a serving of Cinnamon Toast Crunch mixed with a serving of the Special K protein cereal. I highly recommend that that cereal because it's really good and you're getting 10 grams of protein per serving. So I did two servings to get 20 grams of protein and just add a little bit of extra flavor. I did a half a serving of Cinnamon Toast Crunch with some unsweetened almond milk uh, serving that, so eight ounces, and that's gonna be up that's gonna be like the last of my calories and stuff. So it's about nine, I'm at like 1900, close to 2000, so right around the mark. I wanna be 130 protein, 200. And... Okay, my camera stopped, I don't really know why, but um, I was, I don't even know really what I was saying to be honest, but I'm gonna, end, I'm gonna end the video here because I don't really have anything else put in it. So if you guys enjoyed, please smash that like button for me, I'd really appreciate it. Um, in the next video, it'll be like a longer workout base and kind of like something different than what I've been doing for the past, I don't know, three videos. I apologize for that. But if you are new, hit that subscribe button. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy the video and I will see you in the next one.